Hey down here. Can you hear that? Hear that tweeting? That ain't quiet. Can't really tell. But there's a little baby bird in there hollering for some food. He was hollering a lot a minute ago. Head's, I could see his mouth and his head. I guess he's hiding now. I should have just done the handheld deal. I didn't know which one was best. I was trying to be steady. I can't, it's up just high enough I can't really see down in there. Let me get up on this bench if I can do it without the phone. There he is. Look at him. Brand new. I don't know what kind of bird he is. Hey, little birdie. I started. I, th I was sitting here thinking, oh, maybe I could give it a try to give it a worm or something. But if I get my smell of human on him, his mother won't feed him. Most likely, that's what I've always. Well, I don't know. I, I I rescued some birds once that were in a dryer vent of a two-story house. It was kind of like right in between in the floor in between the stories and the mother well they started falling out of there and the mother wasn't feeding them especially after we picked them up but I mean we had to or they were going to die anyway and I didn't really know how to feed them um, let's see somebody told me I could feed them cat food and that worked fine when they were a little bitty but what I didn't know as soon as, as, soon as they started getting their very first feathers you need to switch to bird seed or something like that because that cat food really gave them some, so much diarrhea that they all died. Well, there was one, only one left. I still didn't know what was wrong with them. I didn't know why they were dying. I just thought they weren't living in captivity. And because uh, we put them in a cage and kept them in the, I lived in an apartment then, kept them in the apartment. And uh, one of them, the, the one that lived the longest, would fly around the living room and land on my shoulder. And he thought, I guess he thought I was his daddy or mommy. Uh, and they were little, just average little sparrows, I think, just little small birds that you see here in North Texas. And he quit hollering, he's just sitting there. But it was so cute when he was had his mouth wide open hollering. I think there's only one in there. He may be trying to be quiet so that I won't. That's a funny place. I guess that's a good place, um, you know, for a death. Didn't have to do a lot of building. But, uh, let me get my little trap. I think my deal is tall enough to aim at him. I think. I figure out which way is best to turn it. <coughs> yeah, it's pretty hard to do. It gets hung up on everything. There's a lot of stuff down there in the way. <sighs> yeah, now that doesn't really give you much of a view of it. Though. But I imagine the bird, mother bird, will come back. and uh, feed them. And I got lots of work to do, so I can't stand here. But I was thinking I might leave them. What I'm going to do is turn this video off. I really can't tell. Well, I can tell in the house. I can switch the... Uh, I really want, I really can't get much closer, I don't think. Not much at all. 
so I'm gonna leave it like that and I'm gonna turn this one off because it's a video recording on the phone and I'm gonna do a live feed while I'm messing around with other stuff and then later we can look back at it so I'm gonna turn it on IP web